What's up, YouTube? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Today, I have an interesting video uh, of us, you know, going on with the weekend eight of this project where we start doing a lot of demolition. And the demolition part was easy, you know, for the first few weekends because we were able to w work in the water because, you know, water was like, you know, two to like four feet shallow. So it wasn't too difficult, but it was, you know, stuff tough walking through water and stuff, you know, like wiring you out the whole time. But this time, we're working in you know, at least six feet shallow deep water. And so that's why kind of last weekend we built a bar so that we can use it to like to our advantage to stay on top of water, not have to work against it, you know. Uh, with that being said, you know, this weekend we have like the last part of the, uh, the pre-existing pier to demo out. And, um, we first start off, you know, ripping off the top of the boathouse, you know, ripping that boathouse to, to, to pieces, uh, chainsawing pilings to, to length, removing decking, and then uh, after that we go ahead and go full barge mode and then we start using the bars to pull up pilings. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, don't forget to like and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you get notifications every time to upload a new video. Hopefully you find something educational after this uh, from this video because uh, you know there's not much content out there regarding you know type of peer stuff. I hope you guys can just watch it and get some ideas from me for your next peer project perhaps. Um, all right, let's continue with the video. All right, what's up, guys? Um, so back here at the lake house, it's like weekend number eight or seven, I don't remember. Um, it's October 17th, 2020. And uh, well, we returned back to the lake house and unexpectedly our bar slash pontoon boat is still there. Um, obviously, you know, because of water, things happen, right? So, I'm not sure you guys remember, but those pipes were definitely standing up uh, a little taller than that. Well, what we find is that our 10-foot pipe legs actually got snapped. You can see there. Uh, so, when there's like, you know, a handful like probably like four or three uh, eight inch tubing with four flanges with a with a slight with a small like 40 inch pipe sticking out of it on the on the bottom of the of the lake here um so we got to recover that but other than that we're not we're not doing too bad i'm glad that the bar is still here the executioner is still on we can recoup from this definitely um so i guess the next thing to do is go ahead and take away that the top of that that boathouse and once we get that done we, we can remove some of the, the old decking and then uh we'll go ahead and from there uh hopefully start chainsawing away at the stringer slash supporters and which would just leave us some pier some pilings and then once we get the pilings ready and then we're probably gonna start pulling up with the with the bars and maybe a water jet to go ahead and start um a full demo process but um that's that's the quick update uh look we're looking good looking like we should be able to get a lot done today peace all right we're in go promote
Do you want me to lift it from the other side first? Hold on, hold on. Did I just chunk it or what? I was about to say, but if it flaps towards me, it flaps like me in half. Well, you can dodge it now. In the middle and kind of pick it up. That's what I'm thinking. I get. I get. And you drop it on the, on the what was that? Make sure you're stepping on beans when you walk. About halfway now. This thing's super heavy, bro. Which side do you want? This side, right? The hook? <laughs> what, 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 this? Well, get, what, how do I get leverage? Up here? Yeah, you have to get up here. There's not really leverage, it's gonna still swing. I mean, if I'm strong enough, it should be okay, right? Still, it's got to swing down. I had to pull it really down, really. right? Oh, so it's gonna pull it towards me. That's what you're saying. Pull it, pull it, pull it towards you. There you go. Keep going. Do the red hammer. 
The red hammer? The red, uh, the red thing. What red thing? The crowbar. Oh. You pull it, I can probably push this and it'll open it. And then you can hold it when it gets to your edge, you hold it and take the pressure off. I don't want to release this thing because it's going to go zoop. I'm not going to be able to hold it. It's heavy? It's tight. Alright, so. Can't spend like. Uh, I got here like at 10 maybe. Well, they started working at 10. It's like 1 p.m. now, so three hours. And uh, got some of the demos started, but I'll see what you guys can see. So we got the tin, uh, basically the roof sheets off. Got those down. We got this motor DC I think it's a AC motor that connects to this lever system that you know connects to the strap which apparently will hoist up the boat for you we got a handful of wood siding off of it and now uh, we got this wall spray because there's a bunch of walls in our way and we're we figure we spray them and then go go get lunch uh, I wonder how the wind sounds uh, with the microphone on this thing but my but my voice might suck ours so What's up, bro? I think a PD200 can handle right here. I'm not saying PD200. 150 pounds, right? It's right here. I think it should be fine as long as we have counterbalance. Yeah, I can get my chair. Get your chair. Like Danny said, get the couch and just throw it on there. But uh, this is the executioner on top of our barge. Uh, it's looking kind of sick. Not gonna lie. Looking real sick. Unless we just stop chunking them over the front and they kind of block them. Okay. But I don't know how you get over that post. Christian's real small. Maybe we use the extendo arms. Oh, yeah, easy. The, the red, the red. Bars. The red bars. <laughs> Let's try it, this one, right? That one, that didn't do go that poorly, but it could have gone worse, right? Where are you trying to go? After I get in the corner. Is that it?
We the motherfuckers out here point blank with the fucking paint. Made it to home base on our third base on the home stretch. We're running for it. Take a look at it so you know what to do later in life. What? What do I need to look at this to do later in life for? Well, I was gonna look like. Because it was already out. Yeah, it looked like it would move back in. A four inch groove. Uh, two more, Christian.
seconds. Uh, well, another day, another dollar. Um, as you can see, we got almost it. We almost got it all done, but as you know, life is. We almost get there, and then we could have kept on going, but the sun would have kept would have died on us, and the water been really cold. I had to do water duty, and like stay in the water and keep us moving. And that was really painful and cold, but as you can see, uh, basically, um, we only have like 10 more pilings to go through, and basically, be done after that. And it's a long day, dude. Really painful. We got a lot of trash that we need to pick up, and there's a good chance we're probably not going to do that today, because my fucking shoulders are exhausted. Um, we already picked up most of the tools and clean up them as much as we can before we can go and then shower and head out. That concludes weekend eight or nine, I don't remember, but oh, until next weekend, a weekend after, I'm not sure when we'll come back, but 